I put it on the wrong way, damn it. With the elevator button. Data log number two. How's it going, you guys? I'm gonna show you how to make a little pit boy device. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how to make something like this. Now, it's technically not the real pit boy, or it's not anything near what the pit boy looks like in the Fallout games, but I did something similar. I kind of took my own design into it, and it's this, I actually used my old phone. This this is legitimately my old phone, so like I can. I restored it to its old stuff. There's no files on it, so I just restored it to its old self. So I pretty much set it up. I don't know if you can see it. So I kind of set it up like a real pit boy. So it's got like your calendars, your voice uh, voice recordings for your data logs, messages, all that sort of stuff, clock, blah, 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 blah. So it's kind of interesting. And if I just close it, I turn it off. Cool, right? I kind of just slapped together some random pieces. And like this blue, it wasn't meant to be blue. It was actually supposed to be like, whatever, I think the color was green. I'm pretty sure it was like a camo green or dark green or something like that, but the Pit Boy was. Um, but I actually took this off some old shoulder armor that I was originally going to put on Shovel Knight, and it didn't work. It was too bulky, and I couldn't figure out how to bend foam right. But I was able to bend this foam uh, using my oven at the house. Now, don't try this at home if you don't know what you're doing. This was experimental for me, so I wanted to make sure if it worked, and it worked. The way I was able to get this on and off, it is a bit bulky, as you can clearly see. I actually have two little foam pieces here and a foam piece going up here, so I kind of just push these pieces in. So the way you can get these out is if I just kind of put my finger on the back here and uh, took that out, that out, and then that out, and then it just slides right off. Now, that's the only way I was able to get it to stay on because the phone is kind of top heavy or, or makes it top heavy, so it's kind of like, whoa, you know. Because otherwise, if you just slid this on and you go to read it, you know what I mean? So it's like, it sits normally, but when you, when you go to read it, it's going to flip over. So <laughs> I stuck those pieces in there so it would stay on the person's wrist. Pretty much in this video, um, I'm just going to show you guys how I was able to slap something like this together. Budget wise, I'm not entirely sure because I've already had all the materials, so to give you guys a price, I don't know. If you have an old phone, you know, if you have an old phone like about this size and not just big, you know, that's totally free obviously, but let me take this off here, show you. By the way, this is Velcro on, if you haven't figured out. You put a little couple of Velcro straps and then one to a little strips of uh, the other velcro on there so basically if you can see that it's just like a regular phone case so if you look in here a little bit see there's the clamp of it so i kind of slid a hole in the foam here put this clamp through the hole and i got to stay still right there this whole thing is just it was a pain in the neck to get on let me say <laughs> so for the phone case um Depending on what you want, it's like, uh, I think this one was about 30 bucks. You can get, you can use any kind of phone case you want, honestly, as long as it has a clamp that, that you normally would clamp to your belt, you know. Uh, as long as it has a clamp, you're good to go. So let's go ahead and get into uh, building this thing, shall we? So basically the material I'm working with is EVA form. <laughs> EVA form? <laughs> Mix two different words together. So basically the material I was working with is, uh, EVA foam. <laughs> Why the fuck is that word so hard to say? Foam. <laughs> That's terrible. Why am I having a hard time saying foam? Foam. It's F-O-A-M. So basically the material I was working with is EVA foam, or gym floorboards, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're just, and you can find them at any local store, any Walmart or Target or whatever. So basically I started out with chopping up those weird curved pieces and just went with a straight block. And like I said before, this was off an old sho shoulder, uh, and like I said off before, God damn it, I can't, ah! 
Talk. Dishevel my armor, whatever. Uh, I just double check my measurements, make sure that it was straight enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just had to make sure that it wasn't like lopsided or anything. So that's why I had to keep going back and forth with the ruler and just m making sure that it wasn't funky looking. The way I was able to measure the length is that I wrapped it around my forearm and then I marked out, I used the scissors to cut a line or an indent in the foam where I needed to chop that piece off. And once I chopped that off, I was like, okay, that's, that's how long it needs to be before I go ahead and bend it. Now, if you're using the oven technique, please be careful. Like I said, this is all experimental. I I don't know why I still haven't got the common sense to buy a heat gun. Because I'm a moron. Remember that? So, but the tactic worked. Just be super careful about that. Um, use something to hold it in the oven. Don't use your hand. Because then you're the moron. <laughs> okay. And you'll burn your hand. And then you turn into the human torch. Not in a fun way. So once you get that all heated up, you got to hold it there for at least 10 seconds. And it'll keep the shape. Here, I was able to just take some super glue on the foam case because the fabric was kind of shedding a little bit. So I took some hot glue and made sure that those edges were together. That way the fabric doesn't shed apart as I'm wearing the thing and the phone if I keep taking it on and off. Alright, so I forgot to mention this. So I did this version, which this is the one that actually works. Oop, where's the button? There it is. This is the one that actually works, right? And I also made a secondary one. So this is one that's kind of... This one, the screen doesn't work, if I recall. Because I, I can turn it on, like it charges and everything, but the screen doesn't work. So I can't see what's going on. This one works. So the screen works on this one. That's why I chose this one. So if you're doing a sketch, have a real one for close-up shots. Have a fake one for like action shots if the thing is on the person's arm and it flops around like crazy always good to have a backup always good to have a backup why did i say that twice so here i'm just demonstrating it it fits pretty well it's, it's super snug with the pieces in there you know the foam pieces that i showed you earlier um it could fit anybody's wrist if you have a thick forearm you probably won't need the foam pieces if you have a smaller forearm you might need them just in case if the thing starts to flop around it might fly off your hand when you go to shake someone's hand and be like Sling! oh hey here goes my thing so those foam pieces i'll keep it in place so now that you have the pip boy or i call it the pep boy <laughs> okay don't ask me why i call it the pep boy i actually designed this not design well i take that back not design but this was like an old laser tie gun that i had laying around and all I did was just kind of spray paint it like white and black. So, and you can do this, you can invert these colors if you wanted to. I just painted it like this because I think it was cooler. It just looks <clears throat> futuristic. But um, If you guys aren't really good at spray painting it, you can also hand paint it too. Just make sure you mask out what parts of the gun you want, you know, to be a certain color. Give it a whole color of something and then mask out what parts of the gun you want to spray paint. I don't think it, does it work? I haven't tried that. Now, it's super old, so I, it, it used to work, but I guess not anymore. So to start off, I took some gloss black paint and spray painted the whole thing, basically giving it a base coat. And then once it was fully dry, I kind of got some gravel off of it because it was a really windy day, so I got some stuff off of it with a very damp towel or paper towel and just kind of dabbed it along the edges to get some stuff off. Once that was done and everything, and it was non-sticky and it was just all the stuff was off of it, I started masking out what I wanted to make white with just some regular masking tape. B 
Be sure to get in any corners. If, if there's any tricky spots, take the tape and just kind of take a smaller object and get it between the cracks of the gun or whatever it is that you're painting. Because you don't want that to be another color. So there you go. You just made your own random kind of combination of sci-fi gear with Fallout and laser guns mixed. Go nuts. Make a costume out of it. <laughs> make make like a crazy helmet or something, you know, or put some regular clothes on, but make it look like it's uh, Red Dead Redemption or something like that, you know? So it's like a futuristic version of it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope this was kind of interesting, so I wanted to try showing you guys how to make like simple little props of just random things you have laying around the house, you know? If, like if you're bored and you want something to do, like what I did, I just kind of painted the gun. I was like, oh, okay, that was kind of fun. And then obviously I had, a, I'm making this for a friend of mine for her costume. So, and this will go good with the outfit too, because it's like, you know, the regular Fallout blue and white or blue and yellow combinations. So this will look perfect on it. If you guys want to see more content like this, let me know down in the comments section below. And I will see you goons. Hold on. I'm getting a call. And sorry. Uh, I, I apologize. Who the heck is this? How's it going, you guys? I'm going to show you how to make a little yeah. big boy. Wrong number. Whatever. Later.